hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this video i'll be showing you how you can configure trunk port on a multi-layer switch as you can see what i'm showing here is the network topology we are going to be making use of in this video this network topology comprises of a layer 3 switch a layer 2 switch and multiple pc attached to the layer 2 switch i know this demonstration is for showing how to configure a trunk port on a layer 3 switch but for completeness i need to add a layer 2 switch so that i can configure a trunk link that is configuring a trunk port both on the layer 3 switch and layer 2 switch so that i will be able to test our configuration by pinging from the one pc one of these pc to the other so in this video i will be showing you how you can configure trunk port both on this layer 3 switch and on this layer 2 switch and also i will be showing you that after the configuration these two pc or this different pc will be able to communicate of course if they are communicating then I, I must have enabled the interviewer routing because as you can see some of these pieces exist on vlan 20 while others exist on vlan 30. so what you need to do is to look at this network topology and replicate it on your own packet tracer if you are having difficulty finding this multi-layer switch you just simply come here click on this uh, network devices then click on switches and then you'll be able to find this layer 3 switch from here so i will delete it because i will not be needing it so once you have replicated this network topology you can then join me for this configuration so the first thing for you to do is to configure this multi-layer switch so you click on it then you go to the command line interface so from here you click enter enable configure terminal so the first thing to do is to create the necessary vlan as i have shown in the network topology we'll be needing to vlan vlan 20 and vlan 30 so let me go ahead and create it vlan 20 vlan 30 so after the creation of these two VLAN you can just uh, confirm that they have been created by entering do show VLAN brief so as you can see here VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 has been created so after the creation of this VLAN the next thing is to configure the trunk port on the multi-layer switch so as you can see this this multi-layer switch is using interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to connect to this layer 2 switch so the trunk port is going to be configured on this interface so let me go back exit from this vlan interface then interface fa0 slash 1 so i will need to configure the trunk port on this interface the command to do that is switch port trunk encapsulation then we are going to make use of dot one q so hit enter i think i made a mistake here okay it's supposed to be like this then after that switch port am i making this mistake both trunk so these two command will create a trunk port on this multi-layer switch so let me just save this configuration do right okay after creating the vlan and creating the trunk port the next thing is to create the switch visual interface which is assigning ip addresses to those vlan we created which is vlan 20 
and VLAN 30. So I will need to exit from this uh, interface. So I need to ent enter the interface VLAN 20. Interface VLAN 20. So I need to assign IP address to this VLAN 20. As you can see, the network address for the PC existing on VLAN 20 is 192.168.1.0/24. So our IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1, and then we input the subnet mask. So IP address 192.168.1.1. Then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So I'll click on enter. Then I will uh, turn on this. Uh, I'll then input a uh, no shorts. So after that, I need to also enter VLAN 30, interface VLAN 30. There is a mistake. Okay. VLAN. 30. So the IP address of this uh, of the PC, or let me call it the network address of PC existing on VLAN 30 is dot two dot zero slash twenty four. So I will also enter IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. Then the subnet mask is two five five or two five five two five five. Zero. So I will click on enter and also no shut down. So I have now created the switch visual interfaces on this layer 3 switch. Note this uh, two IP address I just configured for the SVI will be used as the default gateway of the PCs. For instance, this one I configure which is 192.168.1.1. Will be used as the default gateway for the PC existing on VLAN 20, while the other one will be used as the default gateway for PC existing on VLAN 30. Okay, the last thing to do on this multi layer switch is to enable routing. By default, the address switch can't do routing, but you have to input a command to enable this. So, to do that, I will exit to the global config mode. I use a, this command IP routing to enable routing on this uh, interface. So I've done that. I'll then save this configuration. So after that, we need to go and configure this layer 3 switch. So I'll click on it, go to the CLI, hit enter, enable, configure terminal. Okay, the first thing is to configure the trunk port on the layer 2 switch. So, let us check the interface that we need to configure the trunk port on. As you can see here, it's fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So, I'll need to enter the interface, interface FA 0 slash 1. So, the command to create a trunk port on layer 2 switch is just switch port mode trunk you don't need to enter the encapsulation command so you hit on enter do right then i will exit of this interface so after that the next thing is to create the necessary vlan which is vlan 20 and vlan 30 so let me go back and create it so VLAN 20, VLAN 30. So I will configure, confirm that this creation was successful. Brief. As you can see, the two VLAN is created VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So after this, uh, the next thing is to configure the access port which is giving each of these PC access to a particular VLAN. Okay, let me exit to the global config mode. So the first thing is to give uh, the PC existing on VLAN 20 access to VLAN 20. So 
the first one is fast ethernet 0 slash 3 so i will enter the interface interface fa0 slash 3 so switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 20 i will do the same thing for fast ethernet 0 slash 2 okay slash 2 switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 20 so this two pc existing on vlan 20 has been given access to it so let's now do that for those pc existing on vlan 30 so interface first ethernet 0 slash 4 for the first one so switch port mode access switch port mode access vlan 30 so i will do the same thing for fast ethernet 0 slash 5 switch port mode access switch port mode access vlan 30 so i will save this configuration do right okay the next thing for us to do is to configure the ip addresses of each of these pc so i'll first of all start with this one okay the default gateway should be 192.168.168.1.1 as we have configured you know i told you the default gateway should be the svi which we configured on the layer 3 switch i remember telling you about that so let's go and configure the ip address so clean dot two then i'll update the subnet mask i'll go to this one as well the default gateway should be the same go to the ip address this one should be dot three i'll update the subnet mask so i'll go to this one the difference is that this one is dot two i'll copy it go to the first ethernet port paste it here dot two update the subnet mask go to this one paste it here go to here also the only difference is dot three update this one then i will now copy this ip address to test if our configuration is good so i'll ping from pc3 to that pc1 which i copy the ip address so i'll go to the command prompt ping here let's see if it will reply i believe it's going to reply because our configuration is successful so as you can see we have gotten a reply from pc1 so i can also try pc okay pc world self pc0 by changing this to dot 2 i believe we are going to get a reply as well the first one may fail the second third will pass so thank you for watching this video if you have any question do let me in the comment section below i will do my best to answer it also if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed please do so by using that subscribe button below and turning on notifications so that you'll be updated once i release a new video see you in the next one